The reason there has been an outbreak of whooping cough uh, is that whooping cough immunity is not lifelong. For example, if you unfortunately had a whooping cough yourself, years later you are fully at risk and you can get it again. And the same is true with our vaccines that we currently have available. They work very well. They're not perfect by any means, but they will provide immunity for a number of years, but then the immunity diminishes and you can get whooping cough. The real danger in whooping cough is not to teenagers or adults. Certainly they can get sick and feel terrible from it, but the difficulty is that they then can spread it to young babies. Last year in California, we had 10 infants under the age of three months who died from whooping cough. Where do they get whooping cough from? They get it from their family members or relatives in that same household. So this has been the challenge, is to try to prevent it in the young infants. The approach to prevention is to try to prevent it in those people who are around them by immunizing all household members, by immunizing all teenagers in the community, by um, immunizing adults up to the age of 60 or 65, and even beyond if they are going to have exposure to young children.